Kitronic Inventors Kit for the BBC Microbit, Experiment 2. In this experiment, we'll be showing how analog inputs work with the microbit, and to do this, we'll be using this phototransistor that comes with the kit to control an analog voltage. This updated version of the experiment uses the phototransistor in place of the LDR. It works as a like-for-like -like component with only a single value being changed in the code, but we'll get to this later. At the moment, the microbit's displaying a sun because there's a high level of light. So if I cover it up, the light level falls, then the voltage falls, the BBC microbit can detect this, and so it displays a moon instead. The trigger value in the code is set at 200. This creates a threshold of light and subsequently voltage. When the voltage crosses this threshold, the image will change. You can play around with that value, make it higher or lower, and then see how it affects the point at which these images will change. So we've got three jumper wires to build this circuit. We're taking the microbit's 3 volt and ground pins, going into the breadboard's live and ground rails, and then we connect the components themselves back into these rails. The phototransistor is connected into the live rail, the 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected into the negative rail, and then both of them and this jumper wire going back to pin zero, all three of them are connected into the same strip of the breadboard. This forms a potential divider. You can learn more about potential dividers in Kitronic University, but in essence what's going on here is the central point of these components is being fed back to the micro bit, and as the light level changes, the resistance across these components changes, and the voltage heading back into pin zero also changes and the micro bit can detect this. Now you can also do this experiment without using the prototyping system, just using crocodile clips.